guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I'm going to show you some more very cool watches, specifically three very high-end watches that cost way less than a Rolex Explorer, their entry-level sports watch. These watches, while very different than an Explorer, will spank the living hell out of it, in horological terms, of course. All of these are, of course, in stock at DelrayWatch.com, and I'll leave a link to each of them in the description below. And in no particular order, we have this right here, a Blancpain VRA triple calendar. Now, Federico, how is this less expensive than a Rolex Explorer? Well, it definitely is, and it's a hell of a watch. Obviously, made by Blancpain, it's stainless steel and is 40 millimeters in circumference. It has a manufacturer Blancpain movement with that beautiful finishing. And look at that knurled solid gold rotor right there. This is absolutely gorgeous. Very, these movements are also used in Breguet. Now this is a triple calendar function. So you have the day of the week, the month, and the date on that serpentine hand, and you have a moon phase, my favorite complication in dark blue. They even did the old school touch of putting a face on the moon, which I absolutely adore. Now this wears very, very true to size, 40 millimeters, so not too big, not too small, and it comes on the best deployment buckle in the business. So you see a blanc pan deployment buckle. Now it's very hard to show on video, but this is actually spring loaded. So tensioned and springed with the Blanc Pan logo there. No expense spared and extremely secure. I also like that the end looks like a pin buckle. So it doesn't actually look overly modern. You have the pin buckle look, but it wears like a deployant. Now, what makes this watch very special, apart from the manufacturer movement, the beautiful ivory-colored white dial, that serpentine date hand, the skeletonized hands, there's so many things that make it special, but I love that there are no real case pushers, but there are. They're here behind the lugs. So very hard to do with gloves, but you press right there, you see there's little buttons right there, and you change the functions of the watch. This is massively ingenious by Blancpain, getting rid of hideous uh, kind of case side pushers and making it very, very easy to set by recessing these buttons on the bottom of the lugs. Now this is true high horology here, fantastic movement finishing, st stepped case, beautiful, multi-layered dial, as you can see the date is inset. You get the calendar, you get the moon phase, you get the blued steel hands, and on a beautiful black alligator strap with, as I said, the best deployment out there in the business. Much less expensive than a Rolex Explorer. Absolutely killer. Now let's show you something else. Let's go to a different country. Let's go to Germany. Here we have the Glasuta Senator 60s chronograph in a little bit of a strange cushion-shaped case. Stainless steel, 41 and a half millimeters. This one does wear a little larger, but not too large, because the lugs are short, but it is a squared case with a round dial. Has a very 60s kind of a retro aesthetic with those almost gothic numbers. It is a chronograph, and of course, an in-house movement. Take a look at that. Glasuta striping, we have a swan neck regulator right there on the balance, absolutely beautiful. I think this is a hell of a watch for the money. Here you have a tang buckle, if I can only pull it out, with the Glasuta logo. Everything is high polished, the lines of the case are very, very sensual, as you can see, no sharp edges. And of course, you have a chronograph, which people take for granted, but is actually a quite hard complication to make, especially fully in-house, as Glasuta has done here. Now you have beautiful finishing, as I said, a very clean aesthetic from the 60s, that retro style case, this beautiful small scale alligator strap. And of course, how is a German chronograph with this level of movement finishing, less than an Explorer. Well, it's a lot less. It's about half the price of an Explorer, 
and you get some real high horology here as well for not a lot of money. This Glasuta is absolutely a winner in my book. Now a watch after my own heart, a brand I love and a material I love. Here we have the Gerard Perigo Orion. And boy, look at that dial. This is a 40 millimeter watch in stainless steel, and it has an aventurine dial, just like my beloved Moser. Aventurine is a semi-precious stone, very brittle, very hard to make into a dial, and here they've, ha they've made it. This is a time and date, and I also love that the date wheel is made in-house. Very few companies make the date wheel in-house. How can I tell? Well, it uses the Gerard Perigo font, and instead of white or black, it is a blue date wheel, so they've obviously made it themselves. 40 millimeters in stainless steel, once again with the Gerard Perigo in-house movement. Look at that perlage there on the outboard of the movement. Absolutely gorgeous. This wears maybe a tiny bit smaller than 40 millimeters because it has shorter lugs, but that dial is just so romantic. You can get lost in it. It's like a starry night. Tang buckle with the GP logo, very, very thin, automatic, in-house movement, as I said, Gerard Perigo strap. This is a dark navy strap, but the dial is the real winner here. Look at that sparkle. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks even better in real life, and it has the foy style hands. This GP once again, significantly less expensive than a Rolex Explorer, and you've got that very well-finished movement, the very hard-to-find dial, which is very expensive to produce, and a watch that is absolutely pure class. I love my Moser. I'm actually thinking of keeping this one for myself. But here we have the GP, the Glasuta Senator 70s chronograph, and the High Horology Blancpain VRA. All these watches significantly less expensive than a Rolex Explorer. And while they're very different than a Rolex Explorer, I'm sure you can see the case I'm making for it here. Go check them out, link in the description below.